Nunavik stretches above the 55th parallel in northern Quebec. This is a land of infinite spaces and imposing beauty. Numerous lakes and rivers wind throughout this impressive landscape, at times turbulent and flanked by spectacular cliffs, and other times calm and inviting. The beauty of the northern lights will leave you in awe every time. A legendary people with rich culture and courteous hospitality inhabit this land. The Inuit. There are 14 villages in all with populations ranging from 200 to more than 2300 in Kujuak, the region's administrative center. The Inuit have a cheerful and friendly manner and will welcome you to their corner of the world. Arctic Quebec is one of the last unspoiled regions in the world in terms of fishing opportunities. The Ungava region is blessed with wide open unpopulated areas and countless rivers and lakes, most of which have never seen a fly or a lure. Nunavik is home to the Atlantic salmon, brook trout, lake trout, as well to the most famous of the northern species, the Arctic char. This week we visit this magical land. I'm Bill Spicer and this is the new fly fisher. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Nunavik Tourism, Orvis Sporting Traditions, This week our travels take us to the heart of the Arctic and subarctic tundra in the far north of Quebec, also known as Nunavik. Nestled in one of the most beautiful parts of the area is one of Canada's top sport fishing destinations, Rapid Lake Lodge. The lodge is situated on remote, crystal clear waters swarming with trophy fish. The camp offers breathtaking views and all the comforts of home. Joining me today is Siegfried Gagnon, who is with Quebec Tourism, and Alain Lagasse, manager of Rapid Lake Lodge. Our first day we had clouds moving in with low visibility, so flying farther north was not happening for this day. But at Rapid Lake Lodge, there's always another option. Not more than one quarter of a mile away is some of the best brook trout fishing you will ever encounter. And the bonus is, they'll take mouse patterns, bombers, and poppers. Got them. All right. That's not bad, it's nice brook trout. Wow, not bad at all. Now what we have today is bad weather. We can't get out in the plane, but that doesn't stop you from having excellent fishing here at Rapid Lake. Right there, we're about, oh, 300 feet from the, the lodge itself. And I'm fishing mouse patterns. And that's a small brook trout, I'm sure. There, there are many of them in the five pound area, many of them. Yeah. Away you go. I found fish. That's great. Yep, he got it. Very next cast. I had a strike and he missed it. So I thought, okay, I'll try to put it right back over. I know he didn't, he didn't touch the hook. If they, if they touch the hook, they won't come back. But if they don't, if they miss it, they'll come back. Boy, this is a real red fish.
This is a, this is a real decent fish. Give me you. Oh my. A brook trout rising to a mouse pattern is the ultimate high for fly fishers. On this trip, I got lucky and the brook trout were taking mice. Actually, in this area, they're likely feeding on shrews, which are similar to a mouse. Most believe that rodents end up the water by accidentally falling in, but it's also worth noting that shrews don't always end up in the water accidentally or on a daring dash across to the other side. A shrew will almost constantly feed due to their incredibly high metabolism and even doing so aquatically, diving to the bottom of the water bodies to feed on the aquatic invertebrates. What this means to a brook trout is an easy, high calorie meal as they feed up getting ready for winter. Mice patterns that push a lot of water are the best. The fish will be hunting mainly by vibration, so make sure your mouse pattern makes a nice wake. I like patterns that partially sink, as they tend to disturb more water while they're moving across the surface. Oh, that's a, that's a, that was a good fish. That was a good fish. He come right out of the water at that. Wow. They're all colored nicely right now with uh, being the fall. This is September. This is a decent fish. Oh, get in the net, you. This is a long fish. He's not real fat, but he's long. Look at how brightly colored they are. This is their spawning colors. Now, the, diff the way you can tell a brook trout from a char is the white on the front of the, of, the, of the fin, if there's black behind it, then it's a brook trout. If it's a char, there'd be no, there wouldn't be any black stripe, like right there. Now, when they're in fall colors like this, it's easy to tell the difference, but uh, earlier in the year, if you get a char or a brook trout, that's how you tell. We'll be right back after these messages. Rapid Lake Lodge is a true subarctic oasis. In the heart of the remote Nunavik tundra, Rapid Lake Lodge is isolated, but has all the amenities and all the comforts of home. You'll find private rooms with all the modern facilities along with high-speed internet. Weather permitting, you'll be flown out on a daily basis to fish for brook trout, lake trout, and arctic char. From Rapid Lake Lodge, you'll discover the wilderness beauty of Nunavik glacier carved mountains, deep fjords, thousands of lakes, hundreds of rivers, and abundant wildlife, such as black bears, polar bears, caribou, and muskox. Rapid Lake Lodge is a high customer return, so booking well in advance is necessary. Eight months to a year ahead is recommended. That, that, that's a good fit. Oh, and he let go again. Whoa. Oh, that's two in a row. My God. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? I had, I cast it out, had one on, lost it. Pulled back, another fish grabbed it, had it on for a second, lost it. And this was a third fish on the same cast. Oh, my. And look at how, look at how the bend in the rod. Oh, my. <laughs> Another decent fish, really, really nice, nice, nice fish. Whoa, yeah. Mouse patterns for giant eastern brook trout, my goodness. And big fish now. We found the big ones. The smaller ones, I guess, are being pushed in farther so they don't get eaten. This is another big fish. Wow. Come here, you. Just let him tire himself out. Look at that. Look at that. 
Mouse patterns. Mouse patterns. Wow. Yeah, I seen that. Wow. Oh, this is another very nice fish. Wow. <laughs> Look at how red this fish is. Very beautiful fish. Uh, and that is worth a, a net, I think. Wow. Whoo. My goodness. That is something. <laughs> okay. There we go. Barbless hooks. Wow. Look at that, people. Look at that. That's the type of fish you got here at Rapid Lake. Wowee. The way it goes. Oh yeah. <laughs> that that is that's exciting. That's just plain exciting. Mouse patterns for big giant eastern brook trout, my goodness. Equipment needed when coming to Rapid Lake Lodge are nine foot number six weight tip flex rods with matching reels with good drag systems. I chose tip flex because I knew I would be casting long and with large wind resistant flies. I also knew I would be encountering wind, something that Nunavik is famous for. The tip flex has more power in the lower section allowing an easier time casting. The second rod I chose is a nine foot number eight weight mid flex rod with matching rail. This rod was used for the arc char and the lake trout. I preferred mid flex when I'm fishing migratory fish as they are generally large and the initial run can be vicious. Mid flex allows for more cushion and I break less tippets with this action. As you'll be in the Arctic, it's wise to bring a backup rod in case you break one. Well, there we go, another one. I'm only getting three or four pulls in before the next one comes. There's got to be a lot of fish out here. A lot of fish. This just feels like a decent fish, too. Yeah. Now let's get them on the reel. This is the hardest part of fly fishing, is getting it on the reel after you've hooked, controlling the, the, fly, the, the fish while you reel up but you're far better off getting it on the reel so that if they do make a big run, you got a drag system. Just seen another rise right over there of a fish. This is a, yeah, wow. There we go. Yeah. And away he goes. There's, that's my very next cast. My very next cast. Can you believe that? <laughs> nice brook trout. Lots of them here, that's for sure. This, I would, I would say you could actually bring a novice here quite, quite easily and uh, have great fishing. Somebody that's just learning, lots of fish, don't have to cast real far. There's another really, really nice brook trout. One thing I've learned over the years, if you hold a trout upside down to remove the hook, they settle down. They stop squirming. Back up there, let him go. Away he goes. More brook trout action when we return. Now, I've been for the last few hours having a lot of fun with mouse patterns on on brook trout. Uh, they're very aggressive on it, but like brook trout, they get bored easily. So they've seen this enough, they've sort of slacked off. I'm still getting the occasional fish, but not like when I first started. So I'm gonna to go to an old trick that was uh, shown to me 
by a guide going to an Atlantic salmon fly, this orange bomber, and I'm gonna drag it across the top, skitter it across the top. That worked real well for me on a previous trip, so I'm gonna try that now. There we go, got him. That didn't take long. Orange bomber. Like I said, it. Uh, I've used this technique before at other lodges I've been to, and it works very well on brook trout that are active. This is just incredible brook trout fishing here. Um, this is late in the year. What's, uh, this is actually the last week that they're open. And the brook trout have come into the shallows, and they're, they're staging up to spawn. They haven't started spawning yet, but they're staging up. And uh, They've, they've got this lovely red hue on them. This is your Kodak moment. Man, not bad. That's a small one for here. But I changed up flies and gave them something different to look at. Uh, like I said before, brook trout, they they really get bored quickly. I'll be in this spot here, and I'll, and I'll probably take two or three fish, and then it'll stop, and I'll have to move a little farther that way. I'll do that until it's, they're absolutely sick of this fly, and then I'll go back to my mouse, and I think probably the mouse will work again. So right now, I, I'm on this orange bomber, and it's working very well. Oh, big fish. That was a good fish. That's a decent-sized fish, that one. Wowee. Unbelievable brook trout fishing. Unbelievable. And this is a good red fish. Uh, this, this is worth a net. Oh well, it's a good fish. Real good fish. Nice. Woo wee! <laughs> Woo wee! Give me a second here. My fingers still haven't unthawed from the last fish. <laughs> How about that, people? Isn't that nice? Look at how red that fish. The beauty of that fish. Absolutely gorgeous. The flies suggested when coming to Rapid Lake Lodge are mouse patterns, bombers, bass poppers, and don't forget dry flies such as royal wolves, subsurface flies such as leech patterns, cactus woolly buggers, and black woolly buggers. Bring a selection of beadhead nymphs also in pink, orange, and prince nymphs. This is a good fish, another good fish. It's a long fish. Not real thick, but long. Yeah, awesome. And again, another really, really excellent, excellent brook trout. The new fly fisher returns after these messages. The next day, the weather had improved, so we were able to fly. Alan told me of a great place to get lake trout. After a five minute flight, we arrived at the Tunalik River. We fished at the outflow. fish on. Try to keep it down. That's it. Nice. Keep a tight line on them. I got barbless hooks, so let's get them on the reel. Ooh, yeah. It feels like a decent fish. Oh, 
go. Yeah, that's uh, that's a decent decent fish. Yeah, that's a nice lake trout in anybody's mind. It's not huge like you get when you're down rig, but these these are in shallow water, and they're quite active right now. They're mixed in with the brook trout, so we could get into some really nice brook trout. Let's let him go. There we go. And it just feels like, look at that. Into my backing. Into my backing. I would, I would bet this is a lake trout. <laughs> It is a big, big lake trout. A big, big lake trout. Look at the size of it. Oh my. Look at the size of it. This is a, a very nice fish. Lift up. <laughs> That's very nice. Oh, <laughs> Bill, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Come to Rapid Lake for some of the best fishing you'll have in your entire life. Our time has run out for this week. Make sure you tune in next week for the second part of our adventure at Rapid Lake Lodge. For more information on this show and others in our series, visit us on the net at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines and we'll see you next time. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Nunavik Tourism. Orvis Sporting Traditions, 